Greetings YouTubers, it's me again, AZ Home Brewer. Uh, today I'm doing another brew, you can see right behind me. I'm actually doing a little uh, two gallon batch this time, so you'll not see the normal stuff that I normally have. So right here, I actually have a brand new pot that I'm using for uh, my two gallon test batch. I'm going to be uh, making a Trappist Double. As you can see uh, right here, I have a a little pot this is different than my normal setup uh, this is going to be technically a brew in a bag I've only done about two or three of these things because I'm making a test batch so right now I'm heating the water up yes it's very full and so that's why this thing's a test batch so I'm making a Trappist double so I got three and a quarter pounds of pale ale malt <clears throat> I have two pounds of Vienna malt and I think I have like about four ounces 0.375 of crystal 120 that's it uh, for the grains over here I have and this is only takes one uh, one hop so I, I have 0.8 of an ounce of hollow altar uh, hopefully I spelled that or pronounced that right uh, just so just 0.8 ounces for a 60 minute boil and then at 15 minutes, I have some cane sugar, which also would go with my yeast nutrient, as well as my Irish moss. I just haven't added any of that to it. So uh, next time you see us, I'm gonna be uh, hopefully uh, starting to add the grains to the water. Okay, I already did one change. Took it off of there, put it in a bigger pot. Because just the amount of water that was in that thing, uh, and then trying to steep the grains, I knew I was going to get a uh, something that boils over or whatnot. So, just two gallons in there. This is my old boil pot that became a hot liquor tank. And my normal pot, my boil pot's in there, but it has other contraptions inside and I don't feel like messing with it. So, this is, uh, this is what it's going to be. Just this bad boy. So, uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so now I've added all my my grains to this. And so now I'm turning the, got the heat back on so I can hit my strike of 152, I believe. According to Beersmith, I'll have to verify it when I'm not uh, recording this video. And basically, I'll just uh, let it sit for an hour. Not much else to it. Another important tip, especially with Bruna baggers, make sure that your actual bag is not on the bottom of your, your kettle because the heat coming up can scorch it and scorch the grains and then you got some really bad nasty beer later on. So make sure that uh, you pull this a little tight and so that way the bottom of the bag or your grain is not on the very, very bottom of your boil kettle so as it's customary to uh, while you're making homebrew you drink homebrew and so here's my homebrew uh, this is my kilt lifter clone or a four peaks version of it SRM is about 16 AVB is about 6.2 uh, the IBUs um, I don't remember off the top of my head without getting off uh, my recording device but I think it's right around the 21 so it's very sweet and malty um, if you've never had the four peaks kilt lifter version it is a very good beer it's just I'm just one of those people now that they sold out to Budweiser I don't support Budweiser so I'll make my version of it and drink it all up if uh, if you want to see how or what I brewed how I'm excuse me how I made this brew uh, I have it on uh, uh, Beersmith 2 on the iCloud uh, just look for a uh, kilt lifter clone and I think it's in parentheses four peaks uh, and it's a very good beer so you can see all nice and bubbly Cheers. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, sorry about how dark it is. I actually gotta use my flashlight so you can see everything. So the mash is done. I've actually kept pulling the bag around and around and around. So this is out of the water or out of the wart. And now this, I'm just allowing this, the grain to drain, because uh, this version doesn't have where I put any hot water through it to drain the grains. So like I said, uh, <laughs> this is a test batch, so hopefully it turns out pretty good. So I'm going to take a, a pre-boil uh, volume uh, reading and then start boiling this stuff and start putting in uh, the hops and everything else. Stay tuned. The other thing I forgot to mention <clears throat> when you're doing brewing the bags, uh, do not squeeze the bag. You squeeze the bag, you're going to start getting tannins, which will create really nasty aspects of your beer. So you just want to let it drain naturally, not squeeze the bag. Squeezing the bag is bad. Bad juju. Okay, so I got about uh, seven minutes left of this boil. I have it on very low only because it's two gallon batch. And so I don't want to freaking basically evaporate all of it. So it's, it's a very, very slow rolling boil. Uh, so this has been in for about 40 minutes now. Got another five more minutes and then I add uh, the rest of the stuff, the cane sugar, the Irish moss, and then uh, the yeast nutrient. <clears throat> Let that boil for another 15 minutes. And then basically, right over here, because I started with the Mr. Beers, I actually kept the Mr. Beer, and right now half of it's soaking in star sam. I'll flip it over and soak the other side. And basically this is going to be the vessel that I ferment that beer in. Um, if you look at one of my other videos, I've done a mod to this. So we're actually can, uh, you know, I think it's better than guessing. So uh, check it out. So uh, here pretty soon, uh, this beer is going to be done. Okay, well there she is. I had to add about a gallon's worth of water to this thing. Because uh, it was it was pretty low. Um, like I said, this was just something I threw together. So hopefully this thing works. I went ahead and uh, pulled uh, samples uh, after I added water back to this thing. Filtered, filtered clean water, bottled water. So I'm waiting uh, for this to cool down so I can uh, pitch the yeast. So it shouldn't be too much longer. It's starting to feel pretty cool. Uh, so past that, uh, it's pretty well oxygenated, I would believe. Just pitch it and wait. So uh, this was uh, uh, my little video on my two gallon batch. All right, it's uh, been uh, probably around 36 hours since I pitched the yeast uh, that night. Uh, so this is Sunday morning. Uh, the yeast I used was the Abbey Ale. I think believe that's WLP530. So there's my, uh, my little two gallon fermenter. See if I can. Might be kind of hard to see all the action, but uh, because I used a, a full uh, five gallon batch worth of yeast, this thing will probably be done in a day or two. Uh, you can start seeing some of the crossing in there. So, like I said, um, I have a video of a mod here on this Mr. Beer that I used. Uh, I would suggest probably doing it as well because uh, when you're making your little test passages, this thing's still pretty damn good to use. Um, always be sure to uh, use some uh, some tape around the edges so everything comes up through uh, through the center here. So uh, um, that's about it for this video. Uh, if you got any comments or whatnot, go and uh, ask. And uh, if not, um, I'll probably see if I can post another video when I'm bottling this thing. Alright, happy brew.